fantastic work, but it all comes down to this right now. Jack versus Joe Lee Rogan for our Losers Finals, and possibly to see who's going to qualify and see if safe is actually safe. Now, mm -hmm. Jack, Joe Lee Rogan, they go back and forth from what I've watched, but again, I see Joe in more brackets more often than not. Not saying that Jack doesn't play, but I am saying that I see Joe more often in these top spots. Everywhere, continuously. bro. Like, it's Joe everywhere. Is, compared to a lot of people. Yeah. It's not even just Jack. Exactly. Like, he is one of the biggest grinders in this game right now. Mm -hmm. Like, he enters every possible tournament he can. And as you mentioned, always on the upper echelon of results as well. I rarely see a bracket that he enters where he's not top eight, if not top four. That's true. So, dude is a monster. And Jack's going to have to stop him in his tracks to keep his hopes of qualifying alive. He did previously. To be fair, Jack was the one that did take him down to losers. Oh, and good point. Him good point. In the dungeon with the Demon's Dog. We'll see. If he's able to finish the job, or if Joe will get his revenge and shake up the entire competition. Losers finals, a loot versus jury. Let's go. And here we go. And remember, this is to keep Jack's Capcom Club qualifying hopes alive. Joe has already qualified. If he wins this match, safe is in Capcom Cup. Absolutely. Up in the corner, a lot of great corner pressure overall. He's got the fireball for the follow up, the walk up throw to as well. The jabs, everything is working out. It's grass in the drive cage. We haven't seen a health carry to keep that bar up. Yep. And Joe, he's still playing in a very solid, very disciplined, not trying to steal turns back on these light strings, but he's found himself in the corner and he finally takes a risk there, but it's at the cost of burning himself out. Red Coat kicks, finds a fall right after it. Jack, so dominant in the corner with that pressure to stand here, some fireballs, all the follow-ups right after that, all eat to a W. Very good play from Jack. So if you're showing you're like, okay, how do I get outside this corner? What are my escape options? Yeah, it looked like Jackie wanted that forward throw right there. It got great corner carry on her forward throw. But Joe was ready, just like he was ready for the dive kick as well. DP reaching to the skies. Mm -hmm. uh, down with the final follow up right after. No put dive here. The count here is actually working out. That should, I mean, it's for the best hit the buttons in the game. And the scramble, Joe just relies on that money button. It's one of the best scramble tools in the game. Fireball locking him down. Jack trying to get aggressive and get some of that bar back. Can he find an opening? Jack, yeah, oh. I know he, he wants to push it while he was in burnout, but he didn't want to get linear. He didn't want to get predictable with the way he went about his offense. Jack. Oh, no, he got him with a crouching medium punch. Just walked back just a little bit. This should be it without any bar at the bottom. Spit. Man, it's so tough to try to take your turn or do some gambits as jury after the full hop when you have to contend with that crouch medium punch. Perfect carry on the ball right after. Can we put him in the corner? Fireball, cross up DP, nice. auto correcting because of the drive rush. Very smart stuff, Jack. Let me chase down the air, flash knuckle attempt. Joe tried to get out of that space. No lead. No talking to you. A good parry from Jack as well because that level three is loaded. Oh no! Advantage. Get the throw. So the overhead though, he said that's my realm. Yeah, for <laughs> real, Jack's like, I like that move too. Yeah, man. It's a fun one. Oh, oh, close enough to just get straight punished that time. Ouch, and it's going to be full level three. Now Jack is going to be very low on his drive gauge, very low on his life. Joe in control. See how long. Walk up crouching medium punch. The fireball to lock him down. Finds oh, the he, overhead. He does. Does I really like that overhead, my guy. Let me show you how it's done. We try to remind them. We try to remind them. <laughs> Not that dumb. Jack gets a lead. We go for a fireball, normal fireball, normal fireball, walk up. Try to with the shimmy. Oh, oh, Joe's not biting. I thought Joe was going to pop off with an ODDP, but he doesn't want to burn himself out. Oh, he tried the flash knuckle, got cut off. Oh, he does lead. pop it off then. Jack the follow up and finds the fireball. Oh, man. That's stressful. Joe. What a time to do it right there. I love the fact that Joe waited for the ODDP to when Jack was going to be burnt out, too. What a time to do it. Oh, man, the man with the remote go bro. Joe with the first game. We trade from there. No combo off from either side, though. Yeah, medium kick. Harass that stop by body. And now finds a crouching medium punch. Joe, he just walked forward and stopped right at her crouch medium punch range. That was clean. It's that confidence, man. I'm telling you. It is, bro. All too far for the button again. And again, yeah. Any, any drop, bro, we'll get hit with the crouching medium punch. Precisely. Any scramble, any drop, anything like that, the crouch medium punch is the automatic button that's coming out. And Every time. Got me. God button got me. Yeah. That's how it is. Six frames, plus one on block, disjointed, like they are going to press it. This will be so much. Block up the overhead this time, though. Oh. But again, the walk back, crouching medium punch. Oh. How he structures it in. It's outside the range where every character has been fantastic. 
clearly see the strategy that's utilized right now. This man's whip punish game is absolutely nasty. Joe has him in the corner. Ooh, maybe wanted that crouch fierce. He's been using that to combat the stomp. Didn't work out that time. Oh, up, he no. tried to parry. He thought he was going to be a regular jump in. And that cost him the whole game. Joe Umarogan, one game away for qualifying safe in the Capcom Cup, honestly. <laughs> yeah, but the safe, safe high right, right now is like, please come, yeah, please. He is come like, on, Joe. He Let's go, like, Joe. Jumping up and down in his room. And remember, that's that are the fellow Canadians as well. That's, that's true. true. That's a good point. Let me see what's going to happen. Can Jack bring this back? He's going to to do a three game straight up against Joe. Fireball right after. Try to in. Put him in burnout. Jack has to worry of that drive game. But more importantly, how he deals with that crouching medium punch button. He's got that choke. Let that linger for a little bit longer. Need the timings. He dashes up. He gets a punch of three piece and stocks up. He tried a neutral jump right there to bait Joe into a throw. Right throw right there. Oh, the throw. Man. oh man. Joe has looked so supremely confident in everything he's done. Oh! Whip. Can't be doing that, but Stan Fears finds its mark. Stan Foot really bangs out the ODDP Jack. Staving off set point. All right. Not going quietly into the night. I like it. Bookman was never uh, quiet people. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Now Jack taking it to the corner. We see that he likes to establish the throw early because it pushes you so far across the screen. That's true. The fireball into the lockdown. That pressure with the Stan Fierce right after. I uh, like this harassment like in the corner. Mm. It's been really testing Joe. This is where Jack has been able to shine. He hasn't spent so much bar and things like that. He does have level three. You cannot do that. You can't leave for free. Indeed. Caught him on the recovery of the air flash knuckle. And Joe, though not deterred, still busts out with the ODDP on wake up. That confidence, man. Again. You need that confidence Ooh. to stay in fierce face to face right now. That's a lot of damage, bro. That's going to put him on life support. Level three here. Look at that damage, man. Back to that board and end it. Jack, you got him in burnout. It's still a real chance. What a block in the overhead, but he tried to take his turn after, and he could have, but it's a little bit too slow. The space trap, the confidence. Joe Umero again looking to take down Jack and put safe in Capcom Cup. Oh, but he catches him reaching this time, Jack. Because I'm a veteran in this game, just because I'm young, don't think I can't teach you a lesson or two. Ooh. Level three to keep this set alive. There we go. What a dominant amount of corner pressure coming through from Jack and staying in the game. A perfect KO. What a rebuttal, bro. Good stuff from Jack to stay in as much as possible. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep that corner pressure layered, locked on, and lasered in. I'll try some more games. Come on, Jack. Yeah, absolutely. Wake up. Wake up. And that's the more. momentum, right? You need a victory like that. A perfect start instilling that confidence. Start gaining that. Oh, very scary. Every time I see that Fuha come out, I'm like, bro, I hope and you're far enough away. I know. One misplaced, one misplaced one leads to so much damage. The flip throw after the chaser for that Oki. Gonna find a long range kick. Combat the spacing that Joe's been primarily playing at. The whole oh, trade? Oh. OD against the Renko kicks, though. Yeah, the ODDPs, they've been right more often than not for Joe. That's true. Oh, and just as they get face to face, you gotta be able to beat that money button, baby. He's riding it. Round two. Right, so victory right now, or really, saves victory. Set point here for Joe. Not to go too far that time, but you see Jack, he's not even confident in his spacing. Did it with punish it, and Joe opens the door. Got oh, the fireball. Perfect carry is there. That bar can be built at the bottom, slowly but surely, as he gets more aggressive. Yeah, you're pairing these fireballs. He's slowly walking down. Mm -hmm. He's got a lot of drive gates to utilize. No surprise, you might be seeing level three with a big jump in here from Jack to route things back. Jack's got to dig deep, man. Remember, he still hasn't qualified. Joe has. He's got something more to play for. Doesn't get shimmied out of his boots. He'll take the throw. Get that bar at the bottom. He's charging Joe up the neutral gets the punish. So good. Level three is going to be able to burn him out as well. Jack, he knows he needs as much advantage as possible right now. He's everything. He's at level three. You are. Pop the sword away. Hit the Joe. He's looking for an opening. Empty back throw. Burnout. The green yellow. The damage ain't mellow. The oh, trade no. of the foot dive. The only fireball to lock him down. So he blocks scary. it out. He's got two stocks, but you can't just be reckless with that. We've seen Joe react to a fireball with a CA already. Sweet chip. One more hit. Joe's back with bar. Jack has nothing. Jack has absolutely nothing to his name. It He's a burnout. Damn, no, no help. Oh. The dash up low, though. 
It's showing no fear. He's like, you think I'm in burnout? I'm just gonna be timid, walk away. Dashes up, gets aggressive when he least expects it. Man, stop panicking. I want to attack like you Titanic, bro. Stay solid with it. Oh, he tried to walk away, but he got thrown anyway. Joe is having trouble dealing with that foot dive. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It's a dangerous button to deal with our knockdown too as well. And DPs will whiff on it sometimes. You know, it's not the easiest thing to just anti here with that either. 100% to walk up, throw the confidence again here coming from Joe. Oh, he wanted that was big confidence right there. He knew that was going to be game if that crouch medium kick drive rush hit. Mm -hmm. that ball oh, right he wants it. He, he's willing to spin those drive rush cancels because he knows, but he's burnt out now. Oh, luckily wasn't clue close. Yeah. And he was he burnt, burnt out, out too yeah. as well. So you could do the Fuhas a little bit more liberally. But careful now. Any whip, any hit oh. going to be it. He's looking at that medium. And Joe, he's about to have his meter back as well. The fake out Got with the fireball. Ooh, oh my shitty. goodness, no bro. Point. The overhead, you're dead. Joe takes down Jack, and that means C is at Capcom Cup 10. Incredible stuff from Joe right there. You saw Jack, he tapped the parry, and he just wasn't expecting the overhead to hit afterwards, giving him the punish counter reward, letting him combo into a full kill. Jack, valiant effort, man. I was rooting for you to give us the grand finals that we wanted to see. But Joe Umay Rogan is too strong, bro. Already qualified for Capcom Cup. Puts Jack away three to one. He's letting you know who runs this region. Ooh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, my God. Look at the shimmy from the side of Joe. The confidence for him to walk up to stay so clutch in these situations. This is a person that's been playing week after week in the strongest tournaments, the strongest places he can find with the most powerful players in mm -hmm. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Midwest, doesn't matter what it is, right? He out here all the time, and you see it in his play. Yeah. Walking back a little bit, crouching medium punch, whip punishing, adjusting, adjusting his bar usage, willing to go for those risks to find reward with ODDPs, but only that, putting himself in burnout, if need be. Not bad, Joe. Mm -hmm. I think it's a real testament to how far his style of confidence is really taking him, right? Because he's going up against somebody that hasn't qualified yet. They got more to play for. They got more to dig deep and find. Right. But Joe is just that confident in his skills, and he wants people to know that he is the real deal. And when you have that type of mindset, as he said, confidence can supersede genius. It can supersede you digging deeper, having more to play for. He's just that damn good. Him or Rogan moves on For real. to loser's side of Grand Falls after a fantastic loser's side run, but has to take down a fellow countryman. And this is a run back of the World Warrior. This is a run back we've seen continuously in Digital Havoc. This is a tale as old as time.